five different fields, leptons, quarks, gravity, uh, strong and electroweak forces. <clears throat> that goes into three fields, grand unification, what's well, called gravity, and the lepto quarks come together. And then those come directly into the unified field of the 192 fundamental frequencies of consciousness. So basically they're looking at these are matter fields over here, and these are force fields over here, and that's where we get the difference between matter here, physical reality, and energy that you know, we've, we've been talking a lot about. Um, I was looking at that and said, you know what, that has a distinct, <clears throat> that looks distinctly like what they were saying in the Vedas, right? The Vedas say there's fundamental frequencies of consciousness here at the ground level of everything, going into the three gunas. You study polarity or Ayurveda. The three gunas are the three principles. These things, these fields, are mathematically and description-wise the exact same thing as those other fields that I just showed. They're identical. Okay. Going into the five fields of earth, water, fire, air, and ether. This uh, it's backwards from what it was from the other side, but these are the five fields. Okay. And they too correspond directly to uh, description and uh, function of those five fields in string theory. And then what happens, these create the different elements, Q, the uh, icosahedron, the, the tetrahedron, the uh, octahedron, and the dodecahedron, which are the five platonic solids, which are the basic building block of physical reality. They start out as uh, the energetic form, okay? Because here we're still, we're still in that, that energetic uh, way. We haven't gotten up to the physical reality yet. But these come together and actually form what we consider physical reality. These are the building blocks. And so I show this because it's like this, this verifies what you know, we as healers have been saying for eons. It's like you know, what we're doing works and is powerful because, yeah, it's right above the unified field. And now it's being shown scientifically that this stuff exists. It's not just you know, some figment of somebody's imagination, which you know, they could have been. You know, I mean, the Vedas could have been just somebody <laughs> figuring something out and saying, oh, yeah, that sounds neat. <laughs> well, here it's actually shown scientifically that uh, that's what that is. Uh, let's see. Could you give that second line under the fire, water, you know, whatever? What is those? Oh, these are the five mantras. Cream, shreem, hum, cream, and om, associated with the different elements. Okay. <clears throat> so, any questions on, on this? Yes? I was just wondering, um, with your example of the woman who's deaf, when she's listening to the frequency and she would experience pain, is it also possible um, for people to have remember, like have memory of trauma, if, we were, if trauma caused the blockage, would there be memory of that? Or do you bypass all the mental stuff and just stick on the physical level? Really? Uh, yeah. No, you, you, it can go both ways. It could go. It depends. Sometimes they'll release the story. See, there's the, the emotion of it here, and then there's the story of it here. They're very different. Um, and sometimes you can release the emotion without the story, and sometimes the story without the emotion. Uh, and the, the uh, thing won't heal completely until you at least release the emotion. And the emotion is the charge that you keep fulcruming around. So for instance, if there's, like, say, rape or something, it's like you fulcrum around that fear of the rape. And until you clear that fear out, you're going to be stuck at, at that point. And even though you can talk talk through it, if the person, the therapist, can't get at the emotion of it, it, it doesn't resolve. So I've, I've had a lot. I deal with a lot of with emotion. Um, at one point, I studied it for many many years, and 
I can I can just hold people in their emotional bodies so that they can actually clear out that stress. And you know, they'd come in and they, you know, I'd say, well, you know, it feels like you've been raped. And she'd say, oh yeah, but I I dealt with all that. <laughs> say, well, no, you know, if you dealt with it, I wouldn't be picking it up like this. And so as we would go into it, you know, she would go into the feeling of it and clear it out. But the harmonics actually clear out that fear. The harmonics will actually clear that out, yeah. So why don't I do a, a demo? Uh, somebody, I was talking to somebody. Yes, this lady back here. Okay, and he, and he uses that term loosely. Why don't we take a short break and let me run to the restroom, and then we'll set this up.